Thank you for listening to Daily Warfare Prayers. Today I want to simply uplift. I want to encourage you with the word of God. It is the word that gives us life. It is the word that keeps us. And I want to encourage you today, Romans 12, 12, to rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, and be consistent and be constant in prayer. Rejoice in hope simply means that you have an expectation that God is going to answer your prayers. Yes, he's going to answer you. And so you rejoice in expectation that God will do what he said he's going to do in your life. For the Bible says he is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. So you rejoice in hope. It's like ordering a pizza. If you place an order for a pizza to be delivered to your home, you expect that pizza to come. You don't hope that it might arrive to your address. No, if you place your order, you expect to get exactly what you ordered. That's the spirit of expectation. It is the same with God and with his promises. You rejoice in hope, Romans 12, 12, meaning I expect God to do what his word declares he's going to do in my life. Then it says, be patient in tribulation. I know that you're facing trials and there are all types of things that are going on in your life. But the word tells us to be patient. Wait on the Lord. And then it tells us to be constant in prayer. That simply means we are in connection. We are abiding in Christ. We are in communion with him constantly. That's what the word tells us. Galatians 6, 9, it says, let us not grow weary in doing good. For in due season, we will reap. We're going to get it. We're going to get the promises. We're going to experience the answer prayer. We will reap, but it's conditional. If the Bible says we do not give up. Galatians 6, 9. So the important thing is not to give up, to keep praying. Stay constant in prayer. Stay patient in tribulation and continue to worship, continue to praise God in hope that he will do what he said he's going to do. Because the word says, but if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Psalms 37 and 7, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way. Don't look at others. Don't envy or covet others who have what you don't have. The Bible says be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God which surpasseth all understanding shall guard your hearts and your minds. So God sees you, God hears you, and his word declares that he will answer you. Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves before you. and We want to thank you for your power, your strength, and your love. In the name of Jesus and by the power of his resurrecting, saving blood, I apply the word that is in Psalms 27 and 14 to wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take refuge. Wait for the Lord. I pray for patience and endurance in us in this season that we will stand in the midst of the fiery darts of the devil 
that we will be still and allow you to fight our battles for us. I pray that you would teach us to be patient. Teach us to continue to endure, to look to you so that through our endurance, you would produce godly character in us. You would produce godly patience. You would produce the fear of the Lord in us that we may please you in all of our ways, that the fruits of the Spirit may be evident in our life. We may have love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. Father, have your way that we may wear the garments of righteousness so that when people see us, they see you because you're constantly sanctifying us and transforming us into your image. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.